Hey guys, welcome to game two of BSL Season 16 Hasu League Group D. Round of 16 losers matchup. Right in corner, we have Fisheye starting as the blue Protoss. Bottom right in corner, we have Arson as the red Terran. Game one, Fisheye playing more conservatively. Or sorry, well, yeah, he was playing more conservatively. Arson playing more conservatively. I feel like it was more in response to Arson's conservative play. And therefore ended up taking the match through relentless recalls. In case you missed that match. This is on Butter, which I, I believe is 50-50. Proxy gateways have been favorable on this map for some time, and I'm curious if we're going to see that from Fisheye. He hasn't dropped his initial pylon, and it is possible he's going to go for a 12 Nexus here, but we'll see. Right now, okay, just dropping pylon near that natural expansion. This does suggest that we're going to see a 12 Nexus. I, with the the rush distances being a little bit uh, being a little bit long, sometimes you can pull this off, and particularly if there's a lack of a scout, much easier to pull off. But we'll see how. I know that uh, people like to Walt say they don't like Twelve Nexus these days because it forces Protoss to play a little bit more macro games, and there's more options for Terran. Looks like an STV scout is making its way out. Probe gonna go for the gas steel as well, which will help negate some of that early game pressure. And that probe immediately getting to work to attack that SCV. Nice job on Arson. Sneaking another SCV to blockade off the line. Very necessary. It is gonna be gateway, it looks like, before Nexus at the very least. So I wouldn't be shocked if Fisheye builds a zealot or two. Interesting that he decided to place the pylon here at the natural expansion rather than go for a more forward location. But we'll see how it uh, affects thing. This probe is actually taking in a significant amount of damage. And that SCV is still very, very healthy. It looks like attack of damage happened otherwise. Still has its shield to work with. Proxy engineering bay from Arson can help delay that additional base and negate not having that assimilator. We'll see if that initial zealot... Probe's already moving off the line. Gonna go ahead and attack that SCV, maybe stop a bit of construction. The more health it has, the more frustrating it can be. Already starting to work there. And I'll see if the zealot goes... Yeah, it's just gonna go ahead, work on that initial engineering bay. Bit of gas still, and I love the manor steel. And a marine going ahead and tacking away at that assimilator with the SCVs. I think that's one too many SCVs typically for this. So Arson really wants to get that gas down up and running. Had his own scouting SCV return home. The probe hiding near the natural to see if an SCV or is just going to wander out and plop that down as far as a follow-up. Three Marines are out. Let's see if the Marines check that expansion. Two Zealots are marching that direction. Nexus warping in. So the SCV cycling back around wants to confirm whether a Nexus is being built or not. Three Marines versus two Zealots is not a winning scenario, by the way, especially with the bunker this late. I believe these Zealots are going to get here well before that bunker's finished. It's going to be close, though. Let's go ahead and do a scan. Not to be confused with the players. Nope, the Zealots are going to hold up short. And that probe able to confirm that command center it's going to rush in and absorb some damage so the zealots are able to scoot through nice blockading from those SCVs still no factory as of yet so these zealots are still a substantial threat let's see if they can get some SCV kills at the very least getting some scouting information that factory now being built so the zealots are here but can they get something accomplished one of them going ahead Nice defense from Arson, able to take one of them out already. One SCV has been picked out of the line. One Marine down as well. So at the very least, that one paid for itself. And I think it's worth its weight in scouting information at the very least, but that cost a probe as well. And it exploded gloriously with that gas in hand. I don't... So not, not the best exchange overall, but at least was able to confirm some information. A probe is out in the field. I'm wondering if Fisheye <laughs> is going to risk or Brave going for a quick third off just two gateways, no robotics facility here. 
considering how delayed this factory was. Second factory being constructed, no vulture out as of yet. Right now, both players, I should say, uh, Arson very much in the dark. Second gas is being tacked on, so it looks like Fisheye is thinking about a little bit more push to tech. Maybe getting faster Arbiters. Might even go for two base carrier here. With that second gas, we'll have to see. A Zealot blockading currently, it looks like an SCV taking the long route around is going to be able to sneak into that natural expansion before that additional Dragoon is able to produce and also critically going to be able to detect, okay, no Nexus here. Let's see if he cycles into this corner to confirm no Nexus as well. Range was very delayed with that cybernetic score, but interesting that range was delayed. Obviously it kind of there wasn't a lot of gas, but range was delayed, but we didn't see a, a skip to robotics facility as well. Double machine shop, siege tech researched. Arson almost looks like he might be trying to follow this up with kind of a weird delayed timing push even with maybe the three siege tanks, the five Marines he's got on the front and the, so the three siege tanks and a handful of vultures sort of thing. It is possible he's just gonna try to sit on the double machine shop Get a glut of siege tanks to try to negate Reaver play in the mid game and look at this SCV making it all the way in. Confirming just the two gates and the robo. Fisheye dropping the Nexus, that third Nexus, but this is an eye full of information right here. Also seeing that additional gas. Citadel of Adun on the corner. The SCV actually being corralled back to it. So gonna be able to spot that as well. So what was looking like an initial two base arbiter Push towards Arbiter. Ooh, look at the response from Arson. He's going to go up to 5 fact. He's saying, okay, you were getting greedy there on me. This is as a third base hasn't been grabbed. We got three Dragoons, four Dragoons right here, and a, really a three gate, light gateway count. So Arson is going to be able to, he's getting aggressive, potentially is going to be able to push into this. And look at that. Already sneaking out with his siege tanks on the front and getting a quick Dragoon kill to reduce the defense force even further. So five factory turnaround, mines and speed being upgraded as well. Only a single turret gonna be left to defend just in case there was some sort of follow-up drop, but it looks like observers are being constructed instead. Two Dragoons out on the front, some probes now cycling out to get that third base up and running, but I'm gonna say this could be a really strong push from Arson. I think he is gonna have a surge in supply here in a moment. And without Zealot leg speed finished just yet, and without High Templar or something else, or a shuttle, it's just going to be Dragoons on the ground in pretty small numbers to try to cope with what Arson's shoving out. Going to go ahead and take down that Lurker Egg to open things up a bit. Vulture speed finished. Probably going to go with the six siege tanks. Let's see if he draws out the Marines as well. Academy being constructed. I do want to note that this is without an armory and plus one weapons as well. So it's just going to be pure factory. No upgrade, no weapon upgrades to support. Observer wanders in, sees it. It's going to see that five factory. How does Fisheye respond? He's just now got an additional gateway coming online. But let's see, he's got Zelt leg speed upgrading. I don't see that being anywhere near in time though. He's got to gather his troops, maybe go for some sort of split flank sees them moving out, wants to take the high ground before Arson gets there, maybe catch a few troops piecemeal, is going to catch a vulture at the very least. He needs to buy himself some time. Initial Dragoons getting wiped out along that edge, a Zealot getting wiped out as well. This is just pure Dragoon to try to defend against these siege tanks, and, S and you got SCVs along the way as well. The siege tanks outnumber the Dragoons, which is never a good scenario. Arson slowly creating a wedge to cut off the natural expansion from the third. Another Dragoon goes down. Zelt leg speed looks like it might finish in the midst of this, but I don't know that there's enough troops to make it happen. The Dragoon's trying to pop forward. Another Dragoon getting wiped out. Seven Dragoons remaining. Taking additional fire. The troop count has grown, but Arson slowly making his way forward. 
and more Dragoons are losing their lives on the front without engaging the battalion. Shuttle out. Might have to be a Dragoon bomb because there's not enough Zealots on the ground. Fisheye pulling out some troops to the right. Observer getting picked off as well. Plus you have the, sh the turrets are already constructed. Arson closing the noose at the natural expansion. That gateway is certainly going to get wiped out. And there's a nice siege tank line that's fairly deep to not just hold this position, but to reinforce and push troops into the natural. Zealots now scooping up, but it feels like it might be too little too late. Nice push from Arson overall. Mines to the right. Shuttle trying to sweep around. The Marines able to wipe out that shuttle. Not a single siege tank taken out in the midst of that drop. And there wasn't an attack move in the midst of that as well. From the front, probes evacuating from the natural expansion. And Arson looks like he's done it. He's captured that natural expansion. A Dark Templar is being produced. But we've got a lot of turrets to help negate that. And losing this base puts it two base versus two base, plus the factory production behind it. Fisheye might have one more shot. He's got an Arbiter out in the field. So maybe if he picks off the turrets, he might be able to recover this situation, but that would be that would take honestly a miracle. I haven't seen any Goliaths making their way up to the front as of yet. Those Dragoons really cut off from the rest of the attack force as well. Now the Dragoons slotting forward. Observer picked off in between. They're just going to try to cut off some reinforcements. Look like they are going to be successful in doing so. Two base versus two base. A single siege tank making its way to the upper left. Only a single Dragoon right there to defend. That will be the end of that base, which will put Fisheye at one base. <coughs> the Dragoons at least have been able to get between point A and point B. So maybe cut off reinforcements from here, but honestly, I feel like there's enough bulk from Arson period that it's not going to make that much of a difference. The Dragoon's now moving up from the 6 o'clock angle. Able to at least get a siege tank, but that is it before they're wiped out. Now, an engagement on the front. The Dark Templar looks like it died nearly immediately. The Zealot's able to get pretty deep on the siege tank lines. Arson looks like he was distracted, not able to focus fire those Zealots down. And Fisheye actually able to breach here with the cutoff reinforcements and make it all the way, able to clear out the natural, but not before he's able to save the probe lines at the third. So the third's going to be gone. There's still a lot of mines on location that could wipe this attack force out. <coughs> and Arson isn't... He's got the supply lead. He's got the economic lead. There goes the rest of Fisheye's army. And so now he is just limping troops forward, relying effectively on the distance between him and Arson to be a defensive factor. Arson could expand if he wants. He can just end the game, honestly, with another troop flood if he so desires. And Fisheye just, lo again, oof, losing additional troops to mines. Arson with double the supply count. Looks like he is going to be able to clear out the siege tanks to the left. This almost feels like kind of a leftover revenge maneuver. Arson checking, and you could see the vultures making their way around, just making sure that there wasn't a hidden nexus anywhere. Fisheye now distance mining at the natural, trying to get that natural building. Arson regathering uh, re another attack force. Tacking on a sixth factory. He has another command center in the wings. Should he desire to place it. A probe has made its way out to the three o'clock location, maybe to get that up and running, but he honestly is just hoping that Arson doesn't attack. A distractionary force of Zealots and Dragoons in between. Making their way across. That bunker is empty. I think Arson a little bit concerned about the Dark Templar Arbiter play. Some mines being dropped to the left. The Observer going to get cleared out, unfortunately. The Zealots going through a better... Able to at least get on top of that initial siege tank. But just as the Nexus comes online, Fisheye has troops at his natural expansion, so going to have to GG there. Well played. If you guys enjoyed it, give a like, give a subscribe, share with a friend. Again, thank you for listening.